Well, fall is here and winter is not far behind and you want to make sure your lawn is ready for everything. Recently, I spoke with Tim from Barnes for some helpful ideas. All right, so we've got to get our lawns ready for the winter, ready for the next spring. What do we do first? We've got this aeration machine here, right? Right. Okay, right. What, is this, what does this do? This is called the core aerator, and basically what you do is run this over your lawn. You want to get a good double pass on it, so you go one direction, then you turn around and you go perpendicular the other direction. And what it's going to do is take a lot of these cores of soil right out of the top of the grass, and what that's going to do is allow water, nutrients, and air to get to the roots of the soil. Uh, and the roots of the, the grass system. Now is the time of year when your grass is really doing immense root growth. So you want that water, moisture, nutrients to get right to the base of the plant. The common mistake homeowners make is that they won't do it on a regular basis or it just gets forgotten in the, in the midst of summer. And how do we get our hands on something like this to, to aerate our lawn? Barnes would be happy to give you a, a free quote on a service like this. If you are a do-it-yourselfer, a lot of uh, rental places will allow you to take a machine like this home for a Saturday afternoon. Winterizing is the last application. At Barnes we have a four-step process and winterizing is the absolute last step before your lawn goes dormant for the season. It's a specific fertilizer type and mainly what it's doing it's adding nitrogen to the roots of the grass plant. In summer your grass grows from the bottom up so you see all the lush green blades of grass. In fall and winter that's when the, the root structure, the bottom part, uh, beneath the soil really does most of the work. So you want to get as much nutrient and as much nitrogen as you can to the base of the plant. This is our uh, little Sherman tank here. Uh, this is the, the split seeder or the power seeder. It's called by a lot of different names. But basically what happens is your lawn seed or your grass seed is going to go in this tray right in here. That's going to be fed down through these tubes. And then what will happen as this machine is running, it's going to cut in slits or furrows into the soil. The seed is dropped right into that, uh, that cut and then it's covered up as the machine is, is passing over the top. So this gets the seed in direct contact with the soil and you're going to have great, great results with a machine like mm -hmm. this. Uh, instead of the, the standard broadcaster just simply throwing it by hand. Right, and we were talking about that. What are some of the negative things of just throwing it by hand or just the broadcaster like we were talking about earlier? Yeah, if you get a heavy rainstorm, that, that seed can be washed away. Birds can come in mm -hmm. and slowly pick away at it and make it their lunch. So then when is this lush new green golf course grass we're talking about going to finally sprout through? Yeah, yeah, it's a great time of year to seed a lawn right now. Mm -hmm. It is going to germinate yet this fall. Uh, after about the middle of October, the end of October, that's when you want to stop seeding a lawn, otherwise you're not going to have great results. I want to thank Barnes for helping us out with that, and remember, lawn care, it's a year-round job. You are watching The Morning Show. We will be right back.